so good day today we have a 2006 GMC Sierra uh, typical of uh, 99 to 2006 body style and the problem is this tow haul button doesn't work anymore so normally when you press that button you should get the tow haul light up here picture a trailer doesn't work and I suspect as typical the wiring from the button which go down the lever here and into the steering column is broken uh, obviously every time you shift the, the lever out of park to drive and back again the wires have to flex so they're going to break well rather than replace that button which requires replacement of this entire shaft and, and fixing the wire where it breaks off going into the shaft it's just going to break again we're going to install a switch I'll show you what I'm going to do so I bought a selection of momentary push-button switches. This is just a, a voltage input to the PCM. Just a momentary on button. And I'm going to wire that into that circuit. I've already soldered two wires to the switch that I'm about to install. So there you can see where I've soldered the two wires on this little piece of cable that I salvaged from, I don't know, video camera or something. It's a two-wire conductor cable in there. Focus, no focus. Nevertheless, I'll, I'll make it long enough so that I can mount the switch on the dash. That way the wires never flex, so they should never fail again. So we need to remove this plastic cover on the bottom of the dash, and we need to remove this dash piece here. I'm sure there are hundreds of videos on YouTube on how to remove the dash piece, but it's pretty straightforward shift the transmission to a lower gear and then it just pops off well I'll remove it it just pops off so there are two little seven millimeter headed screws on the bottom once the dash trim is out of the way you can pop it out of these clips oh, I see that clip stuck in there I'll have to put it back on and now we're going to remove this piece because the wiring connector we need to get to is up above there so there are four 10 millimeter nuts that hold that uh, knee bolster, I guess it is. Just simply remove them with a nut driver or something. Kind of using a quarter inch drive. And then this piece should come out of here. Just like so. And now we should be able to see the connector in question. There's the two wires coming from that switch. So we're just going to simply unplug them at this connector here and we're going to join into those two wires. So release the little clip, pull the two wires off, I've cut it off going up into the shifter and we're going to join that new toggle or the new push button switch to these two wires. Solder, heat shrink. So I got the switch wired in, connected. So watch when I press the button, tow haul light comes on, press it again, tow haul light goes off. So now we're just going to mount the switch in the face panel and route the wiring out of the way and we should be good to go. So there's the button installed and of course if I press the button you can see the tow haul light comes on, press it again, it's off. Now I put a label on it, you don't really have to, I'm sure you're going to know what the button is for. But when I sell the truck somebody else will know what it's for now too. I hope this helps somebody. 